stress, anxiety, and the times that we are living in keep you feeling disconnected from your spirit. And today I'm going to share four really valuable and simple things to help you to reconnect with your spirit. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Max Ryan. I'm a spiritual teacher, a law of attraction trainer, and I've helped hundreds of people around the world for many years to align with their spirit, to manifest what they want, and to live a life of peace and joy and love. So if that's you and you would like to connect with your spirit, then um, I'd invite you to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, and I think you'd find a lot of great things here. Okay, so I don't know about you, but these times that we're living in are stressful. These times that we're living in are bringing up a lot of emotions, a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression. And as a spiritual traveler, these can be hard times to navigate. But let me tell you, these are times when you need to fall back on some basics to keep you connected with spirit, right? When I say connected with spirit, what I'm saying is to have that channel, you know what I mean? That channel where you feel um, in alignment with, with the still small voice. You feel alignment with your intuition. You feel alignment even with, with um, the angels or spirit guides or whatever you work with. And there are many things that we can do to maintain that connection, right? And I've been doing this for a very long time and I know that when I don't do the things that I'm gonna tell you to do today, um, I start to lose that connection. I start to feel a little lost. I feel a little like, which way do I turn? Where do I go? What do I do, right? Um, so just sit back, get um, a paper and pen and write these down because I think that they're gonna be really important. They're not hard, but they're really, really powerful if you do them consistently. Everything that I do and that I teach is are things that you, we need to do consistently, consistently, consistently. Okay, so you got your pen, you got your paper? All right, let's go. All right, so here we go. What I'm gonna teach you right now is actually an acronym that I learned years ago and I try to stick to it. And the acronym is meds, like take your meds. Are you taking your meds, right? So if you have a paper, get a paper, write M, E D S because I'm going to tell you what they all stand for in just a second, okay? So M E D S. So we're going to start with M, right? M as in Max, as in Mary, right? M. M stands for what? Meditation. Meditation is one of the most important things you can do. There's many ways to meditate. I can teach you a very specific meditation that I think is the most important and the most effective. But every day, are you meditating? At least 10 to 15 minutes a day. Are you doing some form of meditation? So a lot of people tell me that they can't meditate. I don't believe you. Meditation is something that is so specific, and it is literally um, a skill set. It's a skill set that you can really acquire, right? All real meditation is, is the ability to stay focused on one thing. That's all it is. It's not guided visualization, it's not going to the beach, it's not well, all that. It's just sitting and following your breath. And seeing thoughts come by, and let them go, right? And staying where you are. This is huge. The reason that this is huge is that it is in the stillness, it's in the silence that is pregnant with your connection to all that is, to God, to source, to, to life itself. And if you have not trained yourself to be able to say, open up, stop. It's gonna be really hard for you. So find a daily meditation practice. Don't make it complicated. 
don't do a lot of guided meditations where they're going to the beach, as I said, or all that stuff. Just follow your breath. Look up Vipassana meditation. Very simple. Simple. So number one is meditate. Okay, so number two is E, M-E. And E stands for exercise. You know, your body is your instrument. You know, I was an actor for a very long time and I learned very early on that my body is really important because your body is a generator and it's also a receptor of energy. And you want to make sure that your body is tuned up, that feels good to you. Now, you don't have to be running a marathon. You don't have to be doing a million things. You have to be in touch with your body. Do you need to move? Do you need to, you know, dance? Do you need to run? I don't know what it is. But find a way that every day you're exercising. Good long walks. You gotta get your blood pumping a little bit, right? So exercise is number two. And just another thing about exercise is that we have a physical body, but we also have our etheric or energy body, which is the chakra system. And you can look back and do chakra meditations with me, which is fine. Um, but it has a direct connection, right? The more you're in tune with your physical body, the easier it is for you to get in touch with your etheric body, your chakra system, right? So make sure that you're moving. You know, it doesn't do you any harm at all. It only does you good to move. Like I said, I always feel like dancing is a really good thing. So, but do it consistently and get your blood pumping. Okay, so let me just tell you right now, I'm gonna add another one at the end, okay? A little extra bonus. But right now, let's go to number three. Number three for meds is D for diet. Now, I feel really strongly about this. You have to do the diet that works for you. You know what works for you. I'm a big believer that not everyone needs to be vegan. Some people it works great for, some people it doesn't. That is up to you and I honor your choice, right? So some people are keto, some people are vegan, some people eat one meal a day. You have to find the way to eat that fuels your body, right? So the exercise is moving your body, but you have to find a way of eating that works specifically for your body. And just a caveat to the diet. I have done every diet. Listen, at certain times in my life, um, I have been macrobiotic. Look that up. Before vegan. <laughs> That's how old I am. Before vegan. Macrobiotic. Vegetarian. Meat eater. Junk food eater. Um, hardly any eater. Too much eater. I've done it all. I've done it all. Um, and for the last couple of years, I've been pretty much staying to a keto diet. And that works for me really well. I'm 55 years old. So, you know, my body changes, your body's changing. So make sure that you're shifting your diet around and check in, check in, check in. This feels good, this doesn't feel good, right? It's all about tuning into your own body. And of course, all of us know, when you eat a lot of junk food, it doesn't feel good. You eat a lot of sugar, doesn't feel good, right? So. Try your best to eat real food, real food. You know, food from the earth. If you eat meat, eat organic meat. You know, eat plenty of, of fresh vegetables and fruits and proteins, um, you know, if you eat protein. Um, just try to stick to something that's not so processed. You know, a lot of processed food, it doesn't have any nutritional value really. And, um, and I find it, it clogs you up intuitively. You know what I mean? doesn't just clog up other things, it clogs you up intuitively. So you wanna kind of like steer away from a lot of processed foods, okay? All right, so that's it. There's my spiel about diet. But find a diet that works for you. Okay, number four, number four is for S, M-E-D-S. And S is for sleep. I learned when I worked with the great teacher Sonia Choquette years ago how important sleep is. Sleep is incredible. 
you have to sleep. You gotta sleep. Listen, the body needs to rejuvenate itself. The mind, the brain needs to rejuvenate itself. It needs a break. Now, most people will say, well, I could do four hours. I could do five hours. That's fine. You can do that. But I'm telling you, if you want to be on top of your game, if you really, really, really want to stay connected to the spirit, you will sleep. I know it's not optimal sometimes, but you've got to try your best. You know, there's a book um, called The Sleep Connection. I think that, that's what it's called. I forget. Anyway, but it's an amazing book and I read it a few years ago. And it's got incredible information. And one of the things that it says in this book is that the majority of people need, hold on to your seats, between seven and nine hours of sleep a night. I know that can sound impossible or crazy, but that's the optimal that you want to go for. You need to have a schedule. I'm telling you, it is huge in connecting with your spirit. Wake up at the same time. Do the same routine. I mean, you can mix up your routine. Start winding down. Turn off your devices. You've heard it all. But I'm telling you, if you apply, apply this to your life and start sleeping more, you're going to start thinking better, you're going to start feeling better, and you're going to start feeling your connection with your spirit. So I'm going to give you a bonus, but let's go over what we've gone through. Meds. M is for meditation. E is for exercise. Um, D is for diet. And S is for sleep. Do those consistently. Create a program for yourself where you are doing those things every day. And I'm telling you, your connection is going to be clear. You're going to feel spirit. You're going to feel lighter. You're going to feel clearer. And so do take your meds every day, right? Okay, your bonus is meds with another S. Meds. And the last S is solo. It's really important to have alone time every day. Specific alone time. This could be in your shower. This could be when you're exercising. This could be when you're just sitting in your bedroom. Dedicated alone time, obviously meditation is, but having this idea and this um, preference to make sure that you get away from other energy for at least a little while every day. We have so many people and energies and personalities to deal with a lot of the time. And we are, knowingly or not, picking up that energy, picking up that energy. And it could be good energy, bad energy, it could be any kind of energy, it doesn't matter. But really make an effort to get away from people. Get away from people. And as I said, this could be in your shower when you have a conditioner on your head and you're just alone, right? Find your solo or alone time going to make a big difference in keeping you connected with your spirit. So I want to thank you for hanging out with me and spending your time. I know your time is valuable and I really appreciate that. If you are interested in more of this work, then I invite you to subscribe here. We have lots and lots of videos. You can look through everything that we've, I've done before. Um, also, just so you know, I have a podcast. It's kind of new. It's a couple months old called The Positive Principle Podcast say that 10 times with my wonderful friend Polly Wyram and I'll put the link um, below so you can check that out too. All right. Um, until next time, really, I pray that love will guide you. And remember, today could be the best day of your life. And that's the truth. I'll see you soon.